story of Chicago is an American epic. It is written in her massive skyline, in her turbulent pioneering and political history, in the progressive spirit of her fiercely loyal citizens. It is the story of a city whose amazing growth and solid prosperity are the measure of its own great pride of accomplishment. Few great cities are younger or more closely associated in the world's mind with energy and success than Chicago. The Loop is Chicago's world-renowned business district. This is the city's downtown, the mighty vortex of its vast and variegated commercial life. The Loop area is circled by elevated trains, their constant rush and roar a part of the big city symphony. The L, for passengers always in a hurry, links Chicago's downtown shopping and business world with the quiet home life of her suburban areas. Chicago is equally famous for majestic Michigan Avenue, with its impressive splendid mile of hotels, office buildings, and smart shops, where the traffic is a constant parade of colorful and exciting pageantry, helping to make this fabulous windy city a kaleidoscopic pattern of surging and vigorous activity. In this thriving metropolis live three and one half million people of all races and creeds, with a million or so more living in the residential suburbs. Chicago owes much of its success and fortune to the heterogeneous mixture that feeds its great melting pot. Maxwell Street on Sunday, where the handcart peddlers bargain with crowds of customers, comprises Chicago's outdoor mercantile melting pot. Here, one can buy just about everything from a darning needle to a second-hand fur coat at negotiated cash and carry prices. To those who know her, Chicago is many things. A magnificent tribute to the pioneers who founded her, to the New England Yankees who helped build her, and to the Easterners who helped industrialize her. Manufacturing is a main source of Chicago's wealth, one of the big reasons for her enviable position in the marts of commerce and industry. Some 10,000 factories are located within the metropolitan area, pouring forth an annual output to stagger the imagination. This mecca of industry produces a large share of the diesel locomotives that power the nation's railroads, as well as a variety of other railway supplies and equipment. On the south side are the stockyards, a huge domain of pens and packing plants, engaged in processing a major portion of America's meat. Millions of animals annually are shipped here from western and southwestern prairies to supply the demands of the world's largest meat packing and distributing center. But when it comes to transportation, Chicago and railroads are practically synonymous. This is the world's greatest railroad terminal point and routing center, the hub of the country's passenger and freight systems. This is the rendezvous of swift transcontinental streamliners, a fast, dependable express and freight train. Railroads have and continue to make a mighty contribution to the prosperity and growth of this great metropolitan area. But if Chicago is a railroad center second to none, it holds a like distinction where conventions and fairs are concerned, attracting millions of out-of-towners. This enterprising and friendly metropolis is noted for its hospitality and is ready and willing to dispense it in abundance at every opportunity. The rushing rhythm of Chicago keeps pace with her ever vital spirit. Life here marches to a quick and tumultuous tempo and the visitor stands awed and overwhelmed by the very immensity and turmoil of this astonishing Midwestern queen of cities, this amazing modern lady of the lake. For Chicago today is the dream of a people whose superb faith in the future, whose willingness to work hard and whose pride in their city far transcends that of most citizens of other communities throughout the world. The Wrigley Building, a towering monument of gleaming white, is a familiar landmark in the heart of the city. Also on the Chicago River stands the 
monumental commercial structure, the Merchandise Mart, the world's largest commercial building. A $30 million project, it houses a range of goods and services covering almost the entire catalog of human needs. Another highly intriguing and unforgettable municipal landmark is the Zoological Park, more familiarly known to its visitors as the Brookfield Zoo. Here can be seen some 1,700 specimens of animal and bird life. Many of the larger breed appear to roam about at will, so well contrived are the amazing man-made replicas of their natural habitats. Every day is Children's Day here. Not that this exciting bird and animal sanctuary doesn't hold the same attraction for old and young alike. For Brookfield Zoo, with its vast and varied population of the world's wild kingdoms, compares with modern man's most famous zoological collections. Yet, it's just another part of that amazing story that is Chicago. That mighty municipal mosaic known the world over for its tireless energy and its down-to-earth realism for its vital, vigorous, American way of life. No city anywhere is more beloved by its people than this tremendous monument to modern progressive civilization and culture, this humming hive of industry and commerce. For it is those same people with their optimism, their courage, and their capacity for doing things who continue to build that monument along the blue water shores of Lake Michigan. They are Chicago, her thundering strength, her throbbing heartbeat, the molders of her promised destiny. From the rolling beauty of her great boulevards, where the traffic's tide is constantly on the move, to the sky-soaring majesty of her towering buildings, Chicago is a thrilling and never-ending experience. This indeed is a city with a manifest destiny, touched from birth by some secret magic that promised inevitable achievement of its own high place in the modern world. Her history is as fabulous as her present. For this is the storied city that raised herself out of the mud, that refused to be crushed by the tragedy of devastating fire and dark disaster. This then is Chicago, whose story is truly an American epic, booming, growing, pushing ever forward. A city whose courage and faith and vigor have carried her to the heights, whose eternal optimism and lusty spirit will carry her to even greater heights. Chicago, which has given so much, and which is such an important part of this land of ours.